think there are two important aspects to my painting practice in today's state. One is the technique and the second is the concept. For the first, uh, I don't know, 15 years of my life, I painted with the idea of making perfect pieces. I paid extreme attention to details. I would strive for perfection in every possible way in the painting. I realized that I'm at a point where my strength lies in X technique, which is perfection and finer details. And my love lies in Y technique, which was making a work look more surreal, more magical and ambiguous. And, and I did not know what to do about it because, well, do you like just unlearn whatever you have learned all throughout your life till then and go behind what you want or do you try to keep what comes to you naturally intact while building further on it? So obviously I decided to go with option B. I tried developing a painting style which did justice to both, to what comes naturally to me and to what I love. And I started developing the style which at least to my own contentment level made me feel that it's really magical from a decent distance and when someone observes it closely, it still had all the finer details to be appreciated. One of the most important things I learned was developing the ability to let it go, developing the ability to not get possessive about any particular thing you have done putting a lot of effort and with a lot of finer details. Now essentially what I'm doing with my paintings is being my original self for 50% of the time when I'm painting, which is the first 50%, then just changing my style in the next 50% of time. So how essentially I'm applying my technique right now is start painting with all the finer details, ignoring the fact that maybe half of them will not be even visible once the final product is ready. But, you know, hey, I don't know which part I would like to blur out, which part I would like to keep eventually. I don't take a chance and I paint it out throughout. I like the idea of the hints of small details being visible behind the otherwise blurry side. Because I think that is something a person will observe only when they are observing some work intently. To notice new things on observing a work intently, that's the kind of experience I strive my work to give. I want my pieces to be something which makes someone want to see from a distance, want to see close by, want to see it again, and possibly I want someone to be able to discover something new every time they see the piece, even if that means 20 times and 40 times.
it was initially difficult for me to you know scrub over splash erase blur the things which i had worked upon for hours and hours perfecting but once i started doing it it was a very liberating feeling for sure and i think i'm so invested in my art it worked both ways somewhere i was trying to practice it in my personal life also i don't know which part of my life helped the other part more did the artistic part help the personal part more or vice versa but i can say they worked together in that phase and reached here where even after spending hours on a painting if i felt it would look better if i dull out blacken out sore out some particular part i would not hesitate a bit i would not hesitate to try doing something which can make me reach somewhere which i'm only imagining at the cost of possibly spoiling what i have already done so i i think that is definitely the biggest i feel i have achieved with my technique and i'm really really grateful for it definitely requires a lot of patience also it, it requires that faith that sooner or later you know 5 months down the line or 5 years or 20 years down the line it will get noticed by some right people if it has some substance and those moments is all i guess every artist lives for